Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the most unique bunkhouse floor plans I have ever seen. This is the 2021 Keystone Passport Model 3400 QD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this passport. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Beautiful day here in Ohio. Yes. And super excited to take a look at this passport. It's the GT series and um you know different layout it's in either love it or hate it so hope you guys like it yep it's it's a very unique floor plan and i'm super excited to show everybody let's begin model is 3400 qd but the actual tip to tip length of the travel trailer is 38 feet four inches the dry weight is 7560 pounds and will the hitch weight 845 pounds awesome always make sure you get weight distribution marks with anti-sway with how long this travel trailer is the equilibrium and everything just because you can tow it you want to do the anti-sway as well up front here we do have a lipper component power tongue jack to get it on and off the truck right here two 20 pound propane tanks go there and then here's where your batteries go right up here we have a nice fiberglass front cap right fully molded very nice painted and then right here, we do have a diamond plate rock guard right there. Because this is a Keystone, you do get the three year structural warranty. And then look at this, Will. Very nice storage. That is nice. Lights up on the inside. And then this is the controls for your electric stabilizing jacks. Slam latch doors right there. Love that. Nice power awning. Look how long that is. That is really nice. nice. No slide outs on this side. I love it right here we do have your nice step above more ride solid steps extended season camping package which means it does have an enclosed underbelly and then right here look at this oh a little outdoor kitchen you got this keeps going you figure no. it out no there you go oh it's not bad actually for not bad at all will not bad at all and then we got, working with. look a hot point refrigerator that's kind of a dumb name for a refrigerator <laughs> should be cold point you know yeah. very nice right over here's your water heater prep for outdoor television and everything load equalization axles um look at that so it's nice spread apart helps with how long this trailer is and then look at these towers will there's the trailer kings I love those very nice rims. ST225 75 R15. And you got speakers on the outside there. That's right cool. here, yep, is a place to mount a TV bracket. Um, and then right here is a black tank flush. Right here's a little spray port if you want to have some water on the outside. Okay, coming around. Here's your uh, key TV hookup system. Okay. Around the back, no ladder to get up on the roof. No big deal. We do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for a Voyager backup camera. And well, look at this. We Oh, look at that. An outdoor shower. And then we do have a door to get back here and another set of steps. Very nice. So that way if the kids uh, they can um, wash off and then go inside. Finishing up, we do have the cable driven slide out systems. Very nice. And 50 amp power cord right there. And then that's where you dump your black tank. Right there. Very nice. And then over here, here's the 
use your city water connection, your potable water fill, potable, potable, and your fresh water connection. And then we got the other side of that storage right there. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. All right, up front in the bedroom here, living area, dining area and the kitchen. Bathroom back here and the bunk room. Cool. Up front here in the bedroom area. Oh, uh, we do have a nice queen size bed up here. I love this look over there. The heck's that beeping? Oh, there it is. There you go. Well, dang, damn it. Matt can fix our V's. No, I can't. Matt service center. Matt service center. <laughs> We got a nice queen size bed up here. I love the wood look. We got storage above. Very rustic and western looking. Very nice storage there and there. Well, a TV does go up right there. Yep. That's where you can mount it. And then let's lift up. I, I, I like the side action going on. I do too, yeah. Where you can put your CPAP machines or cell phones. Uh oh. Oh! That's an $83 trash can. I love it. And there is storage underneath. Also, look at the plugs. And you got yes, USBs. That's nice. Very nice. Nice big wide door here. You can close it off for privacy. And then when you first enter the camper, wow. Pantry? Look at that. No, just big old storage. I don't even know. Pantry or whatever. And then look at this. Love, love, love. I love, love, love this. Nice trifle sleeper sofa. And it's giving me a direct view of the television. That's right. So nice. So hard to get in the bunkhouse. Okay. A little bit of storage up here. TV. Here's your sound system and everything controls. And then you do have a little bit of storage underneath there as well. Very nice. Very cool. And then right over here in the dinette. I love this. We have a nice U-shaped dinette. I love it even more. I love the blue lights underneath. Yeah. I love the U-shaped dinette. I do too. I love the windows on this full slide. They all open up. We got your blinds right here, okay? And a U-shaped dinette, in my opinion, is 100% needed for a bunkhouse trailer because of um, how many people you need to sit around the table. That's right. And then something else I want to add, Will is six foot three. Yep. And look, he still has plenty of headspace in here. That's right. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <clears throat> My voice is going out, y'all. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $43,600 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right here, we don't currently have a sale price uh, because it is a 2021 model year. But let me tell you, we can get you the absolute best sale price in the country by doing this. Will, everybody, what they need to do, they need to go to mattsrvreviews.com. I have a link down in the description below. And then go down to the contact me tab. You will then see three options. The first option will take you to General RV for you to fill out a form where you get your map money, you'll get an email from me for $500 off, and somebody from my team will give you a call to get you the best price in America. <laughs> or option two, if you're not quite ready to buy, not a problem, and you have some questions, do that second tab. That will be our way for Will or myself to get in contact with you, and we'll call you, text you, email you, or FaceTime you, whatever works best for you. And then if you're not quite ready to buy, no big deal, not a problem. Click that third tab or join us on Club Art Deco. We don't check the third tab as often as we do the first two. It, we will get back to you, just not immediately. Will, what, and it doesn't matter what, where you are at the stage of a purchase, 
What's the most important part of every purchase? We're gonna get on the best price in America. <laughs> dang all right, little well, dang all right. <laughs> Let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. Start over here with the refrigerator. It is a two two way Dometic refrigerator. Eight. What is it? Eight cubic foot. Yep. Yeah. High point microwave. Very nice. Um, rate, hood range, and then a Furion three burner cooktop with the little lights and oven. Storage up above here and here as well. Pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. That that's unique right there. We don't normally it's see that. Like a little spice rack or something. Yep. Whatever you want to use it for. You do have a little window there, which is nice, and that that window does open. Sorry about that interruption, y'all. Um, we just had a YouTube subscriber wanting to meet us. Bing! Thanks so much for coming in. And uh, yeah, well, let's just continue the video. All right, so I think I left off with the sink, single yep. bowl sink, and then storage down below. Yep. You do have this nice flip up extra little counter space if you need that as well. Absolutely. And and it then, looks, yep, sorry. Oh, you're good. You do kind of have a little uh, pantry space here. Uh, pantry slash, well, yeah, pretty much dedicated for pantry, probably. Yep, for sure. Two drawers there. It's now time for the tall test. That's right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh -oh. Radius shower. Doesn't even open much. Get on in there. Uh, it might not pass the Y test, let alone. The... Oh, eh, it's not, not bad. bad. Yeah. Better than expected. Yeah. But, but the Y, it is. The Y test, that's the mood <laughs> test. Well, see, Will, what you do is you just soap up the walls and then, and then you do a 360. Right? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then right over here, we do have your medicine cabinet right there. Little sink and a little bit of storage underneath there. It's now time for the toilet test. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Plastic, nope. Nope, it is not a prime poop position. I can tell you that. We can just nip that one in the butt right there. Well, 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 can you climb in and out of there again? Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is a narrow door. That is. Now here's well, here's what I will say. If you have, you know, where we're getting to the part, you know, that's really features this this trailer. You know, you're not using the bathroom anymore. Correct. So much, because so. you, ha if, if 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 you need, if you need this unit, that means you have two three four kids with you minimum and yeah. then they're bringing their friends you're using the bathhouse anyway yep so here's what makes it wow look at this <clears throat> so double bunks double over double and double there's double over of double them. the double the 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 double 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 <laughs> yep. double 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 a hey, double 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 <laughs> Very nice. This is so cool. 300 pound weight limits, doubles over doubles. I love these. I already love doubles over doubles. And what they did here was they double it. And it's just, it just looks so cool. Here's your second door right here. And then back here, we do have very nice, very nice right there. Okay. Yeah. Big Tons TV of storage. back here. That's a crazy thing. It's Standard. With Yeah, that's a crazy thing though. With all this bedding, they still have tons of storage back here. Very nice. I know, it's crazy. Really nice under there. A little bit more under there. And then look, yeah, most time bunk houses, they are sacrificing yeah. storage. This one was able to cover it all. And Will, as nice as it is and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay. You ready for me to go first? Mm -hmm. First dislike. I don't like the back door right here. Right. So if this was a back door to a bathroom, I don't mind it. Right. The kids are going to try to sneak out on you. Yep. It is what it is. You know, my opinion. That's right. What do you think? I agree. I deadbolt that more. door closed. Keep my daughters inside. <laughs> no, it's kidding. Uh, so that's one. Two. All right. You know, I want the kids to walk by that front door so I can hear what's going on. What are you doing, boy? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm torn. Okay. Between the, the kitchen, because 
Well, 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 no, it's not a torn. It's called a combo. Okay. Combo it. All right. Kitchen is very small, especially when you have this many people. Yes. You know, even if there's just one kid in each bunk, you know, two adults and maybe a kid or something sleeping out here. It's a small kitchen. It's a small kitchen. Cook for what? Six, eight, 10, 20 people. Yep. And then this bathroom just doesn't accommodate that many people either. Again, nope. You know, it is what it is. Down to the bathhouse, but it is what it is. It's not about the bathhouse. It's about the trailer. Ain't That's that right. right? So yeah, I 100% agree with you. That's the combo. And then number three, I will say this: this bath, this front bedroom area, even though it has these wide doors, I personally think the doors are irrelevant because the bedroom is so tight and small in here. I don't like it. Right. Not get changed in here. You don't need a, you don't need these doors. Just keep it open because it's that small, in my opinion. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Ready for me to go first? Yep. I'm not fifth wheel. Travel, Travel trailer. trailer. One, I love the height in here. Right. It has ceilings like it is a fifth wheel. That's right. These barrel ceilings are huge. Yep. Will is six foot three. And he still has plenty of space in here. Yep. That is an awesome feature on a travel trailer. It is, definitely. So that's one. Two. Mine, gotta go back here. Nope. I will give you number two, and then you can give him number three. Okay. So number two, I love the sofa being across from the television. And I love this U-shaped dinette. It's phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of this. And the way they did it, it just rocks. It is. And it kicks Great. butt for this floor plan. Yep. So that's two. And then why don't you show us number three, Will? All right. Now mm -hmm. talk to us. Three is this bunk area. Duh, double, yeah. double, double, double. Double over double. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You ready? Yep. Hashtag it. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. Hashtag. Yep. All right. Um, but yeah, double over double. Next to double. Under double. Dang. <laughs> that's so many doubles. So, I mean, it's crazy. And then, I mean, then it's the whole area. You got tons of storage here. You can add a it's second dumb. AC if you need. Oh, you can? Good I didn't. Look. Yep, perfect. You can add a second AC. We're right. going to need that for all these kids back here. But yep. as Will said, it's not taken away from your storage. It's not. You still have the TVs back here and everything. It's right. just a great, great bunk house area. That's right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please contact us by going to matsrvreviews.com and selecting one of the three tabs wherever you are in your stage of a purchase and we will help you we will answer questions or we will get you the best price for you in america and we will reach out to you and we will call you text you email you or facetime you whatever works best for you if you are interested in a bunkhouse travel trailer and you want to see competition of this one we in a few seconds we will have videos right there these are my personal recommendations that i think you should watch so make sure you check them out will do you have anything you want to say sure all right, guys, thanks for watching. This definitely could be the biggest bunkhouse travel trailer there is. Yeah. You know, um, so I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave in the comments below what you liked and didn't like. Yep. And um, smash the thumbs up button and catch us on Club Art Deco on Facebook. Yep. And I'm really excited to hear what people have to say about this. Because, again, as Will said in the beginning, this is a I love it or I hate it. Yep. Thank exactly. you so much. Thank you so much for visiting us in uh, General RV of Ohio. And uh, Will. We'll see you next time.